This is the Charlotte, North Carolina Micro Center, the newest Micro Center in their fleet and the largest by square footage. This is the CPU section, and I want to kick things off by mentioning that if you are a new customer to Micro Center, you can get $25 off your CPU of choice. And they have plenty to choose from, not just Team Red, but also Team Blue. Literal cabinets full of them. You can actually get pretty decent bundles on these as well. Have I mentioned how big this store is? There are plenty of sweet deals to be had. Check out the links in the video description, including Charlotte-specific deals if you live in and around the Charlotte, North Carolina area. I, uh, I just want everyone to know this is what Raymond looked like to film that previous shot. Hey there. Stay with me. That didn't go as planned. The Antec C7 ARGB is peak mid-tower with 4mm tempered glass, panoramic panels, a multi-directional air intake design, and plenty of mesh throughout. Each case comes equipped with four fans, three of which are reverse blade 120mm intakes, and the fourth a 140mm exhaust, providing subtle and elegant ARGB vibes. The C7 also supports back connect motherboards for ultra-clean hidden cable PC builds like the one you're seeing here, and can house up to dual 360mm radiators for optimal cooling. And at the rear, much of the same ample space, clean cable routing lines, and convenient panels to cover any stragglers. The Antec C7 ARGB is the full package, and you can learn more about it by clicking the link below. Now in this episode, we have Matthew with a pretty old system, I think a 9th gen Intel uh, platform and something like a GTX 1070. Thought he was definitely a great candidate for an upgrade. Let's go see what he's got. Oh, here he is. Hey, Hi. Matthew, right? Yeah. How you doing? All right, so this is uh, a pretty old rig. This is, what, an Obsidian 750 yeah. Corsair? Wow, it's been a while since I've seen one of these. So uh, how long ago did you build it? Um, I built it roughly around 2014 with my friend James. Over the years, I've upgraded the CPU, motherboard, and the RAM. Wow, OK. So what uh, what do you currently have in it? A uh, 97,000K in there with two 8 gig gigabyte of RAM with a uh, gigabyte 7390UD. Yeah, Z790? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then a GTX 1070 for the graphics card? Yeah. Uh, 850 watt, that's actually a decent power supply here. 850 watt GQ. Looks like you got a few hard disk drives. You got a lot of, a lot of storage, it looks like. A lot of storage yeah. drives in there. Okay, are you looking to migrate all of that over to the new rig? Mm, probably not, just okay. Some of it. Okay, okay. Um, is like a, a new case on your radar or do you want to keep like the old kind of like vintage look? I think this one needs an upgrade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we'll put that on the list for sure. Uh, I Actually, I think every contestant up to this point has been able to upgrade their case. Okay. They've been able to make it work with the budget and upgrade other, you know, larger, more uh, noteworthy components as well. So, uh, okay, it is nice that we do have a, a beefier power supply in here. I think it's going to be a, a nice start for us. Maybe we can recycle that in the new rig. But yeah. uh, everything else, we're gonna, we're gonna try to hit in this one. Micro Center's got some good bundles. Okay. So maybe we could start there and try to squeeze a graphics card in as well, depending on what you spin. Speaking of, it's time to bring out the wheel. So Matthew, we have a physical wheel this time around. I figured that would be important. Uh, last season was kind of lame. So All if right. you don't mind standing beside that, uh, there are a couple things you probably want to know. Uh, the numbers range from 600 USD up to 1200. Okay. Uh, and you have a chance to land on one of these purple uh, pie slices, which have $100 each on them. So you're going to add $100 to whatever your next spin is if you land on one of these first. Okay. And you can land on this multiple times, which oh, means geez. in theory, you could win several thousand dollars. So if you want, you can spin this thing literally as hard as you can. There we go. And that's a proper spin. Seven hundred bucks. Ugh. Okay, we are stuck in everything under a thousand. I don't know why we haven't gotten a bigger number yet. But seven hundred bucks is still a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I think we still do a lot with that. Uh, is there anything in mind that you want to start with, knowing that that's the budget we're working with. I feel like CPU first. Well, the good thing is, yeah, this is the best place to buy a bundle, so we can start there. All right, so do you have a preference? Uh, I know you have Intel currently. Are you, like, do you have, you know? I've never tried it for either. I've never tried AMD. Okay. I tried an AMD uh, graphics card, but never an AMD processor. You can start off with like a 5800X 3D bundle, 329, that's gonna have uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 in it and a B550 motherboard. You wanna step up to AM5, a 7700X, B650 and 32 gigs of DDR5. 
for 379. Power supply is good, we can recycle that. Maybe a platform like this, we can check out Intel stuff as well. A case, a cooler, not sure how much money we're gonna have left over for a graphics card though. Right. That's the thing. So we can keep maybe this one in mind. Does this one yeah. look good? Okay, and then we'll check out Intel's as well. Now for Intel, I actually happen to think that some of these Intel bundles are better. We're pretty much at end of life with DDR4, but it will save you money in the now if you went with that instead of something a bit uh, bit newer. I think the Intel is looking way better. It's looking way better? Yeah. yeah I had a feeling. Uh, this one actually, I think, uh, this was a bundle that someone else chose earlier, uh, and I think episode one or two. Uh, and this was a great value at 250. 16 gigs of RAM, you can always upgrade that later. Z790 motherboard, Core i5, 12600KF. That's gonna leave you a lot of room in your budget for a graphics card, a case, and a cooler. Yeah, let's just do that one. You wanna do this one here? Yeah. I think that's a wise choice, my friend. Right, so we've got the Z790 Pro from MSI, we've got the 12600K. F, so no integrated graphics here. And uh, speaking of memory swaps, we actually were able to swap out the kit that came with the bundle uh, with the Vengeance LPX kit that matches what he currently has in the system. So we can migrate that kit over to this new build and have 32 gigs in total instead of 16. Not bad, almost the same price as well. All right, look at that, very humbling, right underneath 4090s. <laughs> now, this card does get some hate online, but if you're coming from like really old stuff, like 10 series and older, it's fine. It's okay. I'm still gonna be attacked for saying this, but it's okay. So if you wanted Lee and Lee, looks like the cheapest you're gonna get is probably that 206. Montec King 95 for 80 bucks. H5 Flow, 90 bucks. This is RGB baked in as well. Eight hours later. All right, I'm gonna get the Cougar dual face RGB tempered glass. Yeah, dual face. So you can swap the panels out, right? Get airflow yeah. if you want, which is probably recommended. 65 bucks. It's a good price. So while we're waiting for somebody to get the Cougar case from way up there, I was on Amazon and I was looking at large cooler options for it. Mm -hmm. If you wanted an air cooler, you know, micro center price matches. Oh. So we were about 10 bucks over and turns out they have the Dark Rock Pro 5 on Amazon for $79.90. That's 20 bucks cheaper than Micro Center currently has it for sale and Micro Center will honor this price. Ooh. So we can save 20 bucks, get ourselves a beefy tower cooler and still work it into the budget. Wow. So that's not bad. No. So just one option if you wanted that would very comfortably fit in the budget if you want with that case in this cooler i think that they'll also fit dimensionally we can confirm that with the guys okay so there's just something to throw out there you know what let's do it have, uh, have you ever been told you look like jesse eisenberg very often <laughs> <laughs> i had to say it. i was like i was getting heavy jesse eisenberg <laughs> vibes <Very laughs> <often>. <laughs> so. so that leaves us with like 80 something and that be quiet dark rock pro 5 is like right at 80 bucks price match mm. So we should be right in under budget. All right. Cool. So let's go grab that for the last thing. So again, I don't want to push this on you. If, you. if you want something else, that's totally fine. I like these coolers, but there's there's a lot of other stuff we could look at. Um, let's just get that. So, okay. This is simple. Okay. Yeah. We do simple. have two forties. If you want a two forty, we could probably make that work. But I'm good. Okay. I like I like air cooling anyway. Peace of mind. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm running in my current build anyway. So, all right. Let's bring this to the front. Tally it all up. I think uh, I think we're right on the money. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Matthew, if we were gonna reuse that uh, old case of yours, all the cleaning gear you could want is like right here before checkout. So yeah. if it came to that, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So this is pre-price match. And yeah, look at that. There we go, that brings us right under that $700 cap. Sweet. All right, Matthew, so uh, a few things we've got to do to start. We've got to harvest some of the stuff that we're gonna be moving to the new rig, such a power supply, your old RAM, since we have it matched with the new stuff now, and some of your storage drives, right? Not right. all of them, I think you're gonna keep maybe a hard drive or two in there. Yeah. Okay, for maybe like a repurposed rig. Okay, so this is a pretty dusty one. I'm gonna have you help me, because if I'm gonna get my hands dirty, I want you to get your hands dirty too. That's fair. So we'll get some uh, zip tie cutters, some wire cutters and things. We'll clean all this up and try to pull the power supply out first, I guess. All right, one more screw here. If you wanna pull down, let's see, I'll get the retention clip. If you wanna pull that card out, there you go. I'm gonna get these SSDs connected. These are the two drives going in the new system. One of these has this boot drive on it. And uh, well, yes, we could have maybe squeezed in an M.2. I think that uh, it was important that uh, we save that money for cooling and for a case just to revamp everything. These are still plenty fast and you can always upgrade later. Gonna get our DDR4 out, there we go. Now a lot of people don't know this with their Vengeance LPX memory, you actually get some plastic peel here on one side. This is from his old kit. So this entire time he had no idea that it was here. Uh, and I'd reckon a majority of folks that have this memory in their systems right now haven't taken that off. You know, I, uh, I don't know why we took this out. In hindsight, we're ready to remove the power supply and I think we just got ahead of ourselves. 
So we're gonna put that back in. And this rig is still like 80, 90% complete. So if you wanna repurpose this, you definitely could. Ah, look at that, Matthew, I caught you. A little yeah. bit of a cobweb down there. Uh-oh, this is PCDC worthy. So we've got the power supply out. We've got a couple SATA cables for the two SSDs and his 16 gig kit of DDR4. Now it's time to reassemble the new platform and throw some of the stuff into the new build. So out comes the motherboard. We're gonna set this on top of its box. Use this as a sort of a assembly bench. Now we've got our 12600KF. Remember, there's no integrated graphics on this chip. And there she is. I gotta say, getting this included in a $250 bundle with a Z790 motherboard and 16 gigs of DDR4, that's pretty impressive. In she goes. Our socket looks good. Nice and gentle here. Give it a little wiggle. She ain't going nowhere. Lower that down. Lower the retention arm and we'll save this for a rainy day. Matt's gonna take care of, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe, uh, <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'll do this. How about I'll do that one? And uh, where's the other identical dim? That one should be This it. one here? Okay. Yeah. So I'll do the first two, but you take care of the second two. There you go. All right. Well, uh, I was scanning around that first slot there, and this is, looks like a resistor. It's, it's some SMD that just popped off the board, I think, when that first dim was going in. Uh, this is probably going to keep the system from posting and it's too fine to just fix with like a makeshift soldering kit we could pick up here at Micro Center. That, uh, that's not good. So if you notice, this dim here has a small SMD off to the uh, far left from your perspective, and on this second dim, it is missing entirely. So that's where it came off. I suppose it's better that it happened on RAM than on the motherboard, because this is cheaper and easier to replace. Moving on then, we're gonna slide this bracket for the cooler under the CPU. Sweet, sweet peel. You can see my beautiful work of art there, thermal paste. Usually I put this on after the bracket, but uh, I got this backwards a second ago. It is different than the Shadow Rock 3 we worked with earlier. So we're gonna tighten this down. On she goes. Make sure everything is aligned, sort of like that. You can see we've got that decent clearance here above our DDR4. And the last piece of the puzzle, the Be Quiet cover. It's magnetic, that's sweet, and a little bit of peel. Now this is why Cougar calls this case the duo face. That is because it has two different front panels. So right now we've got the, what, the glass one here. And this just comes off. It's held in by uh, just four different points. We can snap this new one on in its place. If I can get it aligned, like that there. And there you go. Now you have a case that's uh, more airflow oriented. So you get the best of both worlds for 65 bucks. That's not too bad. Just gonna fasten down a few extra standoffs for his ATX motherboard. Of course, they get caught like right away. So this is gonna take some extra force, I don't have my tool that lets me torque these down. Carefully align things, tighten down the board now. You know, one thing that's really nice about this duo face is that it's wide enough to accommodate larger uh, tower coolers like this Dark Rock Pro 5. I wanted to make sure of that before we bought everything, because we've made that mistake recently. Seeing the PCs too? Yeah. That's build, cool. I build gaming computers as a hobby. That's awesome. Oh, so I'm sure he's around it a lot then, huh? Yeah. That's cool, man. Oh, that's awesome. Here, I got you something. $50 gift card. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. No, thanks for swinging by. You know, it's, it helps us when, when, you know, folks come and shop. That's what we're filming, come say hi. It's, it's, uh, it really is a big help. We appreciate it. That's just a small token of that, so. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, sure, yeah. You wanna come on this side? One. All right. No, you're good, man. Hey, it's was, it was good. nice to meet you. I appreciate you. Cool. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> Another camera over there. Hi, how's it going? Here, I've got, uh, I got you a little something. $50 Microsoft gift card. Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. You guys take care. I appreciate you. It's convenient. We have two two and a half inch SSD trays. We're going to load up both of his drives. You know, these bad boys. I tried to have Matthew do this with the cage in and it was a disaster. <laughs> so removing it just makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to tighten things down. Take care of eight pin APS up top. Matthew's got that 24 pin. There. There you go. And that last one there, that's for the RGB fan hub. Definitely want to make sure we remove this first. Oh, the grand reveal. Minus the anti-static bag. <laughs> it's, it's always a little underkill when that is in the way. Ooh la la. Oh, we're just going to remove the two slot covers now. All right, Matthew. <laughs> it's redemption time. Yep. You can slot the graphics card in. There's a lot of uh, precious material on the line here. I All think right. you got it. 
Yeah. I think you got it. You know, the camera, I know not everyone's used to the camera and it can make things a little jarring for folks. I appreciate you guys being so comfortable with, uh, with being on camera for us. Make sure that it is aligned before you push down. I think that was a good pop this time. Yes. <laughs> Not a bad one. All right. Yeah, looks good. And uh, the last thing to do is connect that uh, eight pin there. I think you have to flip it upside down, actually. Yeah, the clip's on the top side. Yep. Very nice. So what we can do, we'll take a zip tie and we'll tie this behind this so it just looks like one cable <laughs> instead of like this ugly, like, daisy chain one. Gotcha. Just keeps it looking a little cleaner. I'm finishing screwing into the, G the GPU into the chassis. Nice. Just gonna put these covers back on and here we are. Uh, this came out quite nicely. The card's a little small, <laughs> but uh, I like that uh, it just looks much more modern now compared to your old rig. The case helped a ton. Yeah. I personally am glad that you worked the case into the budget. I think it, I think it needed to be a little more modern, although you know, some folks will swear by the old stuff. There's nothing wrong with the 750. Yeah. But uh, this just looks much more compact, much more filled out. Got a nice beefy air cooler. All right, so now we're gonna take this to the knowledge bar. They have a nice little kiosk where we can plug this in uh, to power as well as an HDMI cable with a monitor sitting there. So oh, make nice. sure that this turns on and posts. It should actually load into Windows too if you already have Windows on one of those SSDs, yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. So maybe update some drivers and things since you're mm -hmm. going from 9th gen to 12th gen. But yeah. uh, that'll be something we can check very quickly. Moment of truth. Yep. Here we go, you ready? Go ahead, flip the switch. Let's do it. Pretty much a new build, so no reason to think that it wouldn't turn on. You're good, just give it a second. Yep, there you go. Wow, that lighting actually looks okay. I'm surprised for a $60 case. And we're just waiting for something on the screen now. Come on. Hey, there we go. And since you're using your old SSDs, Make sure that you uninstall your old graphics drivers. I would DDU anyway, just to be on the safe side. And okay. then you should be largely good to go. So, Matthew, what do you think? At the end of the day? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. I think this is a great use of 700 bucks. You had a, a different approach, I think, than some of the others because you had a power supply that was actually good enough to be brought into the new rig. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of already future-proofed that ahead of time, which I think was really smart. That opened up some of the budget for a new case and an even beefier uh, tower cooler than we otherwise would have been able to afford. Right. So I think you did very well there. I really like this. I think it looks really modern. I think you spent the money well. Yes. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this for years to come. I will. Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah, no worries, dude. There's just one thing I forgot to do before I send you on your way. I'm going to zip tie this extra daisy chained 8 pin just to keep it looking a little cleaner here. And we'll trim it down and we'll rotate the end of that zip tie to the top so you can't really see it. Now, are you a local, Matthew? Yes, I am. Cool. How far do you live? From About an hour away. Hour away. Oh, that's not bad. So, if you ever have any problems, you ever want to upgrade your rig, you could. Uh, just drive an hour down to a micro center. I, yep. would, I would love to have a micro center an hour away from me, but Orlando, Florida is not getting the love that I wish we could. Sadly, no. It's nice. Uh, appreciate you coming out. Yeah, appreciate you too. And uh, you left me hanging for like 20 seconds there, by the way. I'm sorry. Just letting you know. And uh, <laughs> hopefully you all enjoyed this one as well. Matthew, you're a great sport. I appreciate you being uh, on camera. You, you did very well. Um, Thank you so much. And uh, I'm, I'm, you did well with the budget as well. I yes. Have to say. We got a nice upgrade in, big transition from what he started with, and that's the entire point of the hero. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, stick around for the next one.